Hey yo, Brink kinda sucks. I'm so high, yes, Brink is a weird word to say. It sounds almost alien to me. And not in the cool, interesting title way. No, it sounds almost like an onomatopoeia for the sound made when you use a hammer to smash a video game disc. God knows, I fucking want to. Brink released in May of 2011, a golden age of actually good gaming experiences. Developed by Splash Damage, most known for... Yo, actually, what have Splash Damage made? I don't fucking know. Huh. And published by... Huh. <sighs> Bethesda. Hey, you. You're finally awake. When we first saw Brink in all of its fancy trailers, it actually looked pretty good. It marketed itself as a class-based, team-based, shooting-based shooter to rival the likes of Team Fortress 2. Unfortunately, all of these promises met the same fate as those from the No Man's Sky developers upon release, and we got this absolute mess. Look, I know that neither of us want to sit here and listen to me complain about Brink using metaphors and similes for the next however long. Though, to be perfectly honest, I'd also wager that neither of us want to sit here and listen to me at all. It's for that reason that I'm now going to instead complain about Brink using grounded opinions, but not facts, because I don't want to be criticised on Reddit. <coughs> Fucking Reddit. <laughs> Fucking Reddit. Brink struggles with its visual direction. On one hand, it's this sort of exaggerated, cel-shaded look that has a lot of style, but with none of the charm of something like Borderlands. But on the other hand, it takes itself ridiculously seriously. If it could just pick a lane like that dickhead on the M40, then maybe it could be artistically interesting. And with the fully customizable characters, clearly copying from a world where TF2 went wildly overboard with that whole hats thing. Oh, no, wait, that's our world. Fucking hats. Fucking hats. Things lack visual clarity, and there really isn't a great visual difference in the four available classes. Though, being perfectly honest, there's no great gameplay difference either, but that's an opinion for a different salad. Reversing back to that point about this game taking itself far too seriously, trying to be some gritty tale of rebellion against those controlling us, it just doesn't fucking work. The story is just a tad bit shit, but I think, more than anything, it's shit because the gameplay doesn't complement the story it's trying so hard to tell. You look at a game like Titanfall 2, the gameplay helps the story along really nicely, with the gameplay differences between the pilot and BT being staggering. The pilot is quick and small, much like me in bed, deftly manoeuvring into and out of tight and sticky situations. Whereas BT is much bigger and much badder, with far more firepower but unable to reach some of the areas due to his... size. Brink has none of this, and look, I'm not saying, why the fuck is Brink not Titanfall? Whee! I'm saying it doesn't have anything in the gameplay that tells you the story alongside the cutscenes and fucking walls of text. The story, and I'm saying story in quotation marks almost as big as my penis because it sucks, the story consists of a couple of missions, it's those quotation marks again, which in turn consists of a couple of really boring and repetitive objectives. Defend the thing, hack the thing, kill the thing, and a fucking course, escort the fucking thing. You're given the opportunity to play as either the security forces, the owners of the Ark, with a relatively uninteresting story behind them, or as the rebel forces, the rebels of the Ark, with a relatively uninteresting story behind them. The two sides really don't have any major differences, the missions follow the same simple structure, the classes and weaponry are exactly the same. It's yet another one of those things that Brink does that sounds really, really cool in concept, but just doesn't land the execution as well as I do wish it had. Had Brink lived up to expectations, had it appropriately executed the plethora of ideas it incorporated, had it actually been a good fucking game, maybe, just maybe, people would still be playing it. Hell, maybe people would have been playing it in the fucking first place. 